Hello everyone, it's me Ross and before today's Google release December future drop for Google Pixel devices, especially for Pixel 7 and with that update we receive lots of lots of improvements, they fix lots of bugs on Pixel 7 Pro and today we will check the major one which was overheating during recording 4K 60fps video on Google Pixel 7 Pro and 7. So this device is using Tensor G2 and today we will check can we compare it with Samsung Exynos 2200 and with Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 on Huawei Mate 50 Pro. Which is better, which will overheat first and which will stop recording the video first. Let's start recording videos and check the results. Alright, let's check first the brightness. Here you can see I use a CPU monitor and now Tensor G2 is 30 degrees Celsius and the brightness on both three devices is around 70%, adaptive brightness is turned off, let's check it here, CPU is 36 Celsius and here it is 31, so I didn't touch the devices maybe for 10 minutes probably they will not cool more than this so we can start the test first let's clear the recents we can start the recording now all right here i will open the camera up here and here let's check the video here ah we have an update coming for Pixel, an update is available for camera, alright, let's update it. Here is the video, alright, you can see here on the Samsung, let's check the settings, you can see it's Ultra HD 60 FPS, so we are 4K 60 FPS, here on Pixel device we have a 60 frames per second and 4K enabled and here on the Huawei we have a 4K and 60 FPS enabled. Before we start let's check the temperatures again of our devices with temperature gun of course. The actual temperature here is 29 degrees here for the Huawei it is way more hotter 35 and here on the Samsung it is around 30. So. We are ready, let's start the recording. Alright, 10 minutes of our test are passed, let's check the temperature according to CPU monitor. It is 56 degrees here, battery is 42, I'm not sure it's very accurate. Here it is 38 degrees and here it is 36 degrees so the devices are not very hot they are doing a great job until now let's check the real temperature with our temperature gun 32 for Samsung 35 and a half for Pixel 7 Pro and 40 one and a half for Huawei Mate 50 Pro and Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 plus Gen 1, sorry. Alright, 15 minutes passed, let's check the temperatures again. 42 for Huawei, 37 almost for Pixel and the coolest one is S22 Ultra with 33 degrees. Let's check the temperatures here on CPU monitor. It is 57 showing here, 41 and 36 here on the Samsung. So Samsung is the coolest device but we'll check which will stop the recording first. I bet it will be Pixel 7 Pro but maybe Google are fix this issue. Ok guys 20 minutes passed. What's happened with the temperature? Ah, you can see what's written here, recording may end. It was written here on Pixel 7 Pro. This is something new, I never see a sign like this on any phone. 
that just informs me my device will turn off the camera because it's overheating very strange probably this came with the latest version of uh, gcam but uh, let's check the temperatures it is 52 here 42 here the device is not even very hot 36 here 37 almost 38 for pixel 7 pro it's not very hot 40 degrees here 32 here on the samsung device we can clearly see that the pixel is not very hot the huawei is hotter than pixel 7 pro but it is not give us a sign that it will stop recording the video but pixel probably will stop we are almost 22 minutes of recording that 4k 60 fps pixel is still doing great job let's continue watching alright 25 minutes of our test are passed what's happened here on huawei we have 51 degrees according to cpu monitor here on the pixel it is 43 and here on the galaxy it is 37 all of the three are fine and still recording all right guys we already recording a video for 30 minutes and all of these three are performing very well if you don't know guys why i'm recording this video i'm doing this because lots of youtubers in their channels are say that pixel 7 pro is so bad that it can't pass even 20 minutes of recording 4k 60 fps but clearly it can this video is proving that pixel 7 pro is doing a great job with its tensor g2 42 and a half for huawei 40 and a half for pixel 7 pro and it's up there 34 degrees everything is okay until now let's check the cpu monitor up 36 here i believe it is pixel 7 pro 43 it is increasing slowly and here on the mate 50 pro it is 56 degrees but you can see it's not a problem for this snapdragon chipset recording stop what was written here on the pixel 7 pro recording stop close the camera to cool down the device after 33 and a half minutes of recording 4k and 60 fps pixel camera is just stop recording cpu is 43 degrees let's check it with the temperature gun i believe it's around 40 here it is 56 54 but it is continue recording here it is 36 and probably samsung are doing great job with their thermals here we can go to our home screen because just the video recording is stopped after 33 and a half minutes and device is start cooling down so obviously pixel 7 pro can pass the 30 minutes is tensor g2 equal to axios 2200 and snapdragon 8 plus genland probably no but 35 minutes of recording 4k 60 fps i think it's okay for every device of course it will be better if the pixel can last longer but obviously it can't and guys keep in mind that the room temperature is around 22 degrees so by any mean this is not affecting the camera recording on a pixel or samsung or huawei device i will wait until they passed 45 minutes and probably will stop the recording because i think they will just not shut down the camera they will just continue recording until the battery is died so let's wait and see okay guys i think it's enough these two phones samsung s22 ultra and huawei mate 50 pro are already proof that they can last a lot longer than pixel 7 pro recording 4k 60 fps video I think it's enough and I can stop recording now and check the temperatures of these two devices. They clearly will never stop until they have a battery inside them. Let's go and check that CPU monitor. So 37 for Samsung and 54 for Huawei. I'm not sure it's 53 but anyway. 
here it is 34 and a half but the point of this video was to check if Google improved the pixel with the latest update or it is just overheating at the same level as it was before. Clearly Google improved something, now at least you can record 30 minutes of 4K 60fps. Is it enough? Of course it's not because this is not a cheap device but it is something. Probably with the next few updates Pixel will getting better and better. I still love my Pixel because it is very very smooth, probably the smoothest device I've ever owned. But anyway, thanks for watching, if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos. Have a nice day.